The next one is the leave one out cross validation. It is a special, uh, it's a special case of the k fold cross validation when k equal to n. So n is nothing but the number of data points in your sample. So when the total number of splits that you are going to have is exactly equal to the number of data points in your sample, we call that as leave one out cross validation technique. So we'll do pretty much same as what we have done in the k-fold cross validation except the fact that here in this case we do not have a subsample so to say as a validation uh, sample. We just have one data point. Okay. So we just take in the one data point as the validation sample and build a model in rest of the data points okay and test it with uh, you know the holdout data point and get the error so you will get error one now you change the data point okay you just take this one okay you will get the error two so what you will do is that when you take this one you will build the model on the entire data point including the last one and test your model on this particular data point okay and you will get an error we call that as error 2 and for here so we will do we continue to, to do the same thing okay so we'll get error 3 so you will get as many error as the number of data points so you will get error 1 to error n if you have n number of observations so the average error would be just you know the total is the sum of the error n equal to 1 to n um, divided by n sorry let's say it i equal to 1 n okay so the average of the error is the prediction error for future so just remember one thing is that is exactly the same as the k-fold k cross violation except the fact that the k in this case is just the same as the number of uh, data points in your sample right so what is the problem in this case the problem in this case is that it will take lot of time to compute if you have you know um, let's say thousand data points you will have thousand iterations to perform so you will build thousand models okay so you will but you take you know 999 data points build your model Test your data point on the one of the uh, validation data point that you have kept outside and keep on changing. Just include this here and then take one data point, another data point from the sample as the validation one and keep the iteration going thousand times. You know, it's going to take a lot of time if you have just too many observations in place. You know, in real time scenario, you will probably have a million observations to. Uh, perform your cost violations and that's going to take a lot of time so it, it's a good way to validate because you are taking every single data point out from your training data and testing how is going to predict uh, each observations um, which is a very good way to validate uh, cross validate rather but the computation time would be just huge but the good thing is that given the fact that nowadays you have uh, you know high computation power uh, a lot of computational resources are available by the cloud uh, service providers you can actually use this particular technique and it's actually becoming a popular technique nowadays because the computational power of systems have gone up drastically over uh, last few decades the last one or the fourth uh, one is the bootstrap method in bootstrap method you perform a certain steps so firstly you will do you randomly draw data sets from the training sample so you have a training sample you just randomly draw uh, data points and each uh, bootstrap sample or the sample that you have created by randomly picking data points from the uh, from the sample will have the same size as your main sample let's for instance we have a sample we have got n observation so what I'll do is that I'll create a bootstrap sample. I call that as B1. So I'll take a data point from here, data point one, and then data point two. But remember one thing is that 
um, you can actually it's it's you select this data points with replacement that means you have already taken data point d1 second time when you actually select another data point d1 could be the one again you would be selecting that means um, it's selection uh, with replacement okay so the data points uh, can be selected more than one time okay so the number of data points in bootstrap sample b1 will also have n data points similarly you can have bootstrap bootstrap sample b2 which will again have one n number of data points bootstrap lambda um, b3 with n data points and so on and let's for instance you have 100 such uh, you know bootstrap sample so what you again do is that you refit your model so whatever uh, model that you have built on your training data or the original data you fit the same model in all this bootstrap sample data and then you examine the model and you examine the performance of the model you examine the model statistics and see whether they are consistent across bootstrap sample or not if they are consistent then you you have uh, been able to cross validate your model uh, in a good way so the pictorial pictorial view would be like this is this training sample and you um, selected uh, data points with replacements and you came up with bootstrap samples you will have n number of bootstrap samples and then you you know refit the model in all the bootstrap samples and check for consistency that's what uh, you know, i explained in the previous slide also so yeah it's just uh, a representation Thank you so much. Please subscribe to my channel and you can also visit our website. Thank you.